Hello and welcome, this is Unpossible, and uh, welcome to the review of the PlayStation 3 Yellow Dog Linux Hard Drive Upgrade Porn Star Review, uh, minus the Porn Star. So here's what you get when you mix a PlayStation 3, a 100GB SATA notebook hard drive, and a downloaded copy of Linux. Oh yeah, bask in the glory. I would like to point out that downloading Linux is not illegal. You can get it at blackcatgames.net, that's where I got mine. So basically, the PS3 is run off 7 PowerPC 3.2GHz processors, one of which is special, so it's not used for computing. You also get 256MB XDR main RAM running at 3.2GHz, and another 256GDDR3 VRAM running at 700MHz. Now 512MB of combined RAM may seem low to you, and it is, and I was skeptical at first to do this project just because of how low it is. But the sheer processing power will boost the speed of your PS3 into a very fast computer, faster than most. And it will definitely improve PC gaming. I had given thought to emulating Windows using an emulator for the Linux, hoping that maybe it would be able to run some PC games, but you have to put into consideration the fact that you'd be running now three operating systems at once and it could get kind of slow. So it's doable, but not recommended. What you're going to want to do first, before you start anything, is get a copy of Linux. I use Linux Yellow Dog version 5.0. This is only because it was actually built for the PlayStation 3. This operating system that I used, and the one I'll be showing you, has a Windows-based layout with features you will recognize, like the start menu and a customizable desktop. If you have the 20GB version, you're going to definitely want to increase the size of your hard drive. You'll be safe on the 60GB side but you still might want to increase it if you have large files to be put. Make sure, if you are going to increase your hard drive, that you get a SATA 150 notebook hard drive. Any other hard drive won't work, and you'll be stuck with a basically useless piece of hardware. Then you want to find a website that helps people install Linux onto their PS3. Basically, the installation process is going to take about two hours to complete, maybe even up to four hours if you suck at stuff. I'm not going to get into that kind of stuff here, the installation guide is uh, being made and it's on my website. You'll get the link at the end of the video. To complete the installation, you're gonna have to have like a storage device, like a USB drive, just so that you can back up all the stuff on your on your PS3 operating system, like your game saves and stuff, or else all that stuff's gonna be lost. I'm warning you right now, you will not be able to get all that stuff back. Unless you back up your PlayStation 3 before you start the installation process. Once that's all completed, you're gonna reboot your system and you'll get to your Linux desktop and that's it, you got it. You can easily change back and forth from the uh, Linux desktop to the PlayStation 3 desktop just by typing in a command in Linux. It's pretty simple. So this is what the desktop looks like. It's got a great new design. It kind of reminds me of a cross between a Windows PC and a Mac. Now I got my PS3 for only $380 on eBay and then I bought the hard drive for 175 bucks from my friend. Then I put it all together and I have a very fast PC running 7 3.2 GHz processors with Bluetooth capabilities. And it doubles as a PlayStation 3. Go figure. And I got all this for 550 bucks. Mind you, the retail price for the PS3 is 600 bucks. I like to give this a 9 out of 10. Only because there's a 10 second delay from getting to the Linux to the PS3 operating system. The installation of Linux takes a long time. And after partitioning your hard drive and installing the OS, you lose about 12 GB of hard drive space but everything else is good. You should head over to GatsAndBlades.com. The uh, full installation guide I made is there. So check that out. And this has been Impossible, bringing you another, another review from GatsAndBlades.com.